I have no idea how I'm looking right now, but I'm sure it's beautiful. So this is basically a suitcase. And I'm gonna get my nails done. You'll be able to see. Let's hope that this isn't too much. I think we really underestimated how much we had to do. The holiday prep begins. I am so excited. Welcome back to a new vlog. I'm going to be bringing you guys along for the next week or so as I get ready for my trip to Europe for five weeks. Honestly, I kind of have already started the prep and I started it a long time ago, but when I say prep, I mean more of like the beauty prep, the superficial stuff, because I really want to make myself feel really good before I go away. So I'm actually getting my lashes done today. It basically feels like this is my first time getting a lash lift and tint because the last time I had it done was like seven years ago or something. And honestly, I didn't like it when I got it done last time. And I think that I just had a bit of a botched job like the girl didn't do it that well so i was a bit like nervous to get it done but then my friend lani is actually a brow and lash specialist and she was saying oh honestly like you'll love it and a few of my friends who went over said it was really great getting their lashes tinted not that you need to do that by any means but i just feel like i want to feel my best possible when i'm away on holiday and if it means i wear less makeup then that's great. Makes my life a whole lot easier and less maintenance. So we're gonna go and get it done and I thought I'd bring you guys along. I do have quite long eyelashes already. You probably can't tell right now because I've got no mascara on. In fact, my face might look a little bit red because I literally just rubbed my makeup off just before. But today has been a busy day of getting the outfits sorted. As you can see, there's a massive pile behind me of all of my outfits. I've been going through and trying absolutely everything on and mixing and matching pieces so that I can make a bit more of a capsule wardrobe. And then I've been taking photos of everything on my camera roll so I know like what outfits I've already planned out. And I just think it's going to make my life so much easier to be able to look at exactly what I've got instead of having to rummage through my suitcase and try and figure out what goes with what. So I'm very happy that I did that. I think my future yourself will definitely thank me for that little hack. I have no idea how I'm looking right now, but I'm sure it's beautiful. <laughs> it is. It looks amazing. <laughs> really stunning. <laughs> so what, what, what did you do then? So we're doing a lash lift tint. So basically I've glued a rod onto your eyelid and then, oh my god my face isn't in that. I've glued oh. a rod onto your eyelid and then I've glued your lashes up and over the rod. Yeah. And I've now put a solution on your eyelashes so that we're curling them up to the position that the rod is actually in. And yeah, then we do a second solution and then we'll tip them and then they'll be done. Yay! Amazing. I can't wait to see. Do you reckon they'll look super long? They will look so long. Yours are so oh long. Oh my God. I feel like this is gonna be a game changer for me and I'm gonna be like, oh, I need this constantly. 100%. You'd be surprised. Everyone yeah. does it and you're like, why didn't I do this sooner? I know. Okay, I wanted to get my reaction on camera. <gasps> Oh wow, oh my god, is this the angle I was filming myself at? That is not flattering. <laughs> it probably wasn't the best, no. Wow. But if you look in the mirror while you're filming you'll be able to see like how much they lifted. Oh wow. Like they are so much <gasps> more lifted. And oh my god. No, they actually look insane. I know, they look amazing. Oh my god. And then with my brows, are we thinking we're going to do the end a little bit? Up to you. I just tidied them up. Lani goes, can I pluck your mono brow? <laughs> I had to. Yeah. Um, so we can. I just shaped them. So that's the shape that I'll do. Like, I like it very natural. If you're liking the natural, you're going away. I wouldn't say experiment too much. Do you know no, what I mean? I feel like the ends could be good. Just that little portion there. A little there. bit there. Yeah. Just to kind of fill it in. Because that is honestly just what I do. Yeah. And then I can just brush them up with gel and I'll be good. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Do. I'm so happy with how my lashes and my brows look. I just can't get them wet for now, 24 hours, and then I think they should be all set and all good after that. But if you were wondering where I went, I went to buy Lani and she is incredible. I love Lani so much. Like she did such a good job and she really knows what she's doing. So I very much trust her. So if you're Shire based, highly recommend her. I just wanted to pick up the camera because I want to unbox this parcel I think this is my carry-on luggage. So I actually saw this on TikTok and I was like, it actually looks really good. The reviews were amazing on Amazon. And it's just a backpack, but there's just so much room in it for packing clothes and things. I need to be really careful with how much I pack because we've got a couple of internal flights when we're away and one of them only allows us to bring 23 kilos with us. And even though for the other flights we have a larger allowance, like it's not just 23 kilos, we just thought we'd try and stick to 23 kilos for the whole thing. Brayden seems to think that's easy. And I mean, like, look, that's still a lot of allowance, 
but for five weeks and for somebody who likes to pack a lot of clothes and has cosmetics and stuff it's not that much so anyway i decided to get this backpack so i could actually pack some stuff in here as well and also that way i can have like a load of clothes in here for in case something happens with our suitcases because i know sometimes people's suitcases go missing when they're overseas and i just I don't want that to happen, so it would be good to have some backup clothing in here. So, pocket number one, this is it. I feel like you could fit a laptop in here. You could fit a lot in there, but that is the smaller pocket. Okay, so this is basically a suitcase. You can lay everything out flat in here. It even has a charging cord. How the heck does that work? I'll need to Google how that works, but basically you can charge things through your bag, which is crazy. That is actually massive for space, and we've even got like little pockets here so I can put stuff down there that is so so good and then we also have another pocket at the back honestly maybe that's where I'll put my laptop actually maybe I'll put my laptop in the back pocket but I really like the color of this and we have like a little drink bottle slot down the side as well there's also a little zip pocket at the front perfect oh and another one up here Braden keeps teasing me for buying this bag. He's like, Ella, do you really need that? But I genuinely think it's going to make my life so much easier. Like, I would rather bring this and a more average-sized suitcase instead of just, like, a massive suitcase. You know what I mean? I think it makes more sense. That way I can have this on my back and then have, like, an average-sized suitcase. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It's from Amazon. I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. Oh, also, actually, while this is here and before I forget, if you guys have a Canon G7X or a camera... Here's another Amazon purchase that I recently picked up, which I think is the best thing ever. It's this little camera case. It's from Mega Gear. It's in this cream color and it's got a crossbody strap so you can easily wear it out and about around you. And I haven't really seen many people talk about camera cases for the Canon G7X, which is what I'm currently using to vlog on. So this is gonna be really, really helpful for protecting my camera. Hello everyone, I'm just about to head to my hair appointment and I wanna quickly just check in and show you guys before of my hair. I'm not 100% sure on what I wanna ask. I know I wanna stay blonde, but I'm really tempted to do the Scandinavian hairline, but I also am just like, is it actually gonna be something I like? I don't know, but I do want to keep it bright around the face. I love the money pieces. And I always do get that. And I feel like that is kind of similar to the Scandinavian hairline, but the Scandinavian hairline is just a little bit more obvious, I think. I'm not sure. I don't fully know. I'll talk to them. Honestly, I go in with ideas, but usually I just let them do their thing. I definitely need a cut though. Like honestly, my hair is the healthiest it's been in a really long time lately, but it definitely needs a bit of a trim. It's grown so much as well. So here's a before, have a look at my regrowth. So let's go and get my hair done. It's now Thursday, the day before we leave. I've got so much to do today because we literally leave at well our flight's at 6 a.m tomorrow so honestly i think we're going to be getting up at like 2 a.m or something in the morning and then brayden's mom bless her like which is so nice of her she's gonna drive us to the airport at 3 a.m i was like we can get an uber but she's like no it's totally fine which is so nice of her but yeah we've got so much to do today and i'm actually heading back to the hairdressers this morning which is why i didn't really show you guys a after of my hair i mean you could probably see it's blonder now but I'm also like intentionally not showing you the back of my hair but it is a lot blonder and I love it but by the time I finished at the salon the other day it was dark and I just feel like when it's dark you can't see the color it didn't do it justice anyway we've got some content that we need to get so I'm going back to the salon today to get some content with Bixie yeah that's the plan for this morning then I'm gonna get my nails done get lunch with the girls and just see them before I don't see my friends for five weeks and finish off the packing. The packing has already been in progress actually, but I yeah need to finish it all off and I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I bought because I feel like I've been very, very organized and I've got a lot more like bits and pieces to help me stay organized while I'm traveling. So I got like new packing cubes and things like that. So I'll show you all of that later.
So these are the nails. I decided to go with ombre, which I've had before and I love ombre. I decided ombre was a good thing to do because it would grow out nicely like as my nails grow out since I am away for five weeks. So yeah, that's what we ended up doing. It's now 7 p.m. and I've still got so much I need to do this evening, but it's okay, we're gonna get on with it. I actually just went to my family's house just before just to say bye to them, which was really nice. I just wanted to make sure I saw them just before I go because like five weeks feels like a long time. Like it's not really, but at the same time it feels like it is. And even last time Brayden and I went over to Europe in, was it 2018, I think? We went over for five weeks as well, but two of those weeks were spent with my family in the UK. So I'm like, it's actually a long time to go without like seeing any friends and family, but I'm so excited to have like that quality time with Brayden. It's going to be really, really nice. But yeah, lots to do tonight. I still need to finish packing and I want to scrub off my old fake tan and redo that tonight. I was going to get a spray tan, but then I decided, honestly, I don't want to risk not loving it. I know it's not that big of a deal, but I just wanted to like it obviously and i know i love my baddest blood like i literally leave it on for two hours and it's the best the best color so that's what i'm thinking i'm gonna do and oh i haven't even shown you guys properly the after of my hair but i love it super super blonde i've showered i've done the the everything shower exfoliated my whole body shaved and now i am going to do some dermablading and i noticed i really needed to do this because whenever i pop fake tan on my face and i haven't done this I end up with a bit of a, a mustache, like a fake tan mustache. It's really good exfoliation as well, dermablading. So I just do it on a 90 degree angle. I don't do it as often as I would like to actually. I always forget, but it's so, so good when I do remember to do it. And I just use like a oil or some sort of like serum or something just so it glides along my face nicely. Cause you don't want to be too harsh. Otherwise you will get scratches on your face. I do need like a tissue though to wipe it on. Not gonna lie, part of me is just like, do I even go to bed tonight? Because our flight is so early. Like Braden just said his mum's picking us up at quarter past three, which means we need to be up at like 2 a.m. And it's already 8 p.m. now and I haven't even popped on my tan. So we're gonna be getting like four hours of sleep if I manage to get to bed at 10 p.m. What type of flyers are you guys when you do a long haul flight? Because I always think that I'm going to watch movies and I'm going to do all of these things. I'm like, wow, we have like a really long flight. Like I can do all of these things. And then I end up just sleeping, but like not sleeping super well, but just like dozing. I don't know. I just find that I get so tired and time just flies so much faster when I just like close my eyes. I guess I am sleeping, but it's just not like a deep sleep. You know what I mean? It's funny because watching a movie and stuff always seems so relaxing at home, but as soon as you're on an airplane, watching a movie is not the same. Maybe I'm the only one who feels like that, but it's just like, I'd rather, I'd rather do other stuff. I also always have the plan of doing some editing because I'm like, oh, it's a great opportunity to do that on a flight. And then I never feel like doing it because it's so noisy and I'm like, I can't hear a thing when I'm editing. But do you guys sleep or are you like someone who's awake the whole flight? It just feels so surreal that we're going on this trip tomorrow because it feels like there's been so much build up to it. And it felt like everyone else went on the Europe trip and it was like, oh, ours is so far away. And then all of a sudden it's here. So yeah, it's come by so fast. So this is your time to like book that trip, even if it is far in advance, because you'd be surprised. Like one day comes up so quickly. Like, you might think, oh my gosh, Europe summer is so far away next year. Like why would I book that now? But honestly, book it get those discounts and before you know it will be that time and you'll be so thankful that you did that now because I just think that time flies so fast. Okay, that feels so much better. Okay, I thought I'd give you an overview of what I'm packing in my toiletries bag. Let's hope that this isn't too much. I've got a few sunscreens. Apparently sunscreen's really expensive to buy in Santorini. I mean, I don't know about the rest of Europe, but Santorini's the first place we're going and I've heard that. So I was like, obviously we've got some at home, so I've got to bring that. We have my skincare. I'm making sure I bring like my normal routine. I love like the mini travel size stuff. It's so cute. We also have some face masks and eye masks. So I just thought this would be nice to do after traveling. I usually would do one of these sheet masks on the flight, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna do that because I've heard apparently using hyaluronic acid isn't good on a flight because hyaluronic acid only works when like you give your skin moisture. Like it helps your skin like lock in more moisture, but obviously on a plane, you're being sucked of all the moisture so it could actually make your skin more dry i believe don't take my word for that but yeah i've heard that so i'm like maybe i'm not going to use it 
we have some little tanning bits and some like booby tape which is basically like Hollywood tape we have some like hygiene and shower stuff and then down here we have my hair care routine this is like the best hair care routine ever shampoo and conditioner leave-in k18 don't know what I'd do without it it's made the biggest difference to my hair like this shampoo and conditioner is the best especially if you get build up in your hair I just said to Brayden I need to whip out the camera because this is just gonna be one of those moments that we look back on and kind of laugh at because it's midnight right now we need to be up getting ready to go in two hours so we're like is there even like any point going to bed at this point I think we really underestimated how much we had to do <laughs> we've been printing everything out I've been packing my stuff and I don't know if I said already I think I have but We've got a few flights that are only allowed 23 kilos. And I know I could pay for extra luggage, but like ideally I don't want to. So yeah, I've been trying to take things out of my bag to make it lighter. It's now 22 kilos, which to me seems really light for five weeks, like 22 kilos. Brayden's like, no, that's not light. But I think it is like for our international flight from here to Santorini, we have like 32 kilos. I mean, at first my bag weighed 26 just before, so we've managed to get rid of four kilos, which is quite good. But yeah, I, I don't know if us staying up is a smart move or if it's like a bad move, but I almost feel like if we go and have a nap now, we're gonna feel worse. I'm gonna try and get a little sleep in. You are? I think so, yeah. Otherwise I'm just gonna be up, I stay with the rest. Yeah, okay. Mm. We've still got stuff to do. So, update. I feel like we're looking relatively fresh considering we've got one hour of sleep. Yeah, literally. Literally one hour. Um, I also have a song stuck going through my head and it was happening that whole time. It's really annoying. It's an Olivia Rodrigo song and it's like this one little bit. It's going around around in my head even now. It? It's like, um, fuck you, na 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 I act my age and I Na, 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 na. Don't even know the words. Oh, mm, anyway, it's a TikTok song that I've heard. But we've tidied up. We've printed out the whole like itinerary of everything that we've got going on with all of the documents and stuff for our transfers and whatnot. And we've packed, managed to get our luggage under the allocated amount, and the place is looking nice and tidy. So I think we've mm. done a pretty good job. I'd say. So we're just waiting for Melissa to get here, Brayden's mum. She'll be here any minute and we'll head to the airport. It's currently 3 a.m. by the way. So we went to bed at like, oh, uh, no, 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 1.30. Was it really? It was 1.30. Yeah, if I can look at the email, I said it was at 1.30. Wow. <laughs> oh.